everyone. We are here now at Rexel Woods and we have Alexander. Hello, Alexander. How are you? Hey, good meeting you. My name is Alex. Uh, I'm the CEO of X Limiting. We are here at the Intergeo in Essen and I'm super happy uh, to show you what we, uh, what we have new here at the booth. Uh, so we are introducing our new flagship camera, the Eagle 4.1. This is a photogrammetric camera, the high-end camera with a footprint of 28,000 pixels across the flight strip in the frame rate of 0.7 seconds. So this camera is collecting high resolution Im imagery based on photogrammetric standards. In addition to, to, um, to the camera, there is an integrated GPS INS system. Um, and this, uh, this system collects uh, the GPS INS data. It's called UltraNav. So that is a closed solution which you need to, to do the mission planning and to operate the camera in the air. For this UltraNav, we were partnering with a new partner, which is called TopoFlight, uh, because here we have a very rich feature set mm -hmm. for 3D mission planning. Okay, so what is UltraNav? Yeah, so the, the UltraNav system is, a, is an integrated technology installed in the camera, consists of a GPS receiver, an INS IMU, and software for the flight planning, for the mission planning, and for the GPS INS data processing. Okay, we got super high quality photos, even we can use it for any surveying operation. So what? What will happen after that? I think it has more than a 3D picture, right? Yeah, so you're, you're totally right. So it all starts with the high resolution, very precise imagery. So they are photogrammetric rate, absolutely stable accuracy. And then, so in the further downstream processing, this imagery can be used to generate um, surface models, terrain models, and all those 3D models. Uh, for example, you can fly over city, collect the data, and mm -hmm. then process a 3D city model out of the imagery. You are producing very huge cameras, but why can't we do the same operation with a drone? Yeah. Uh, doesn't work this same as the principle? Yeah. So the, the, the underlying principle of photogrammetry are of course the same. You are using multiple pairs of stereo imagery to generate uh, well, not, not only the imagery but also the point cloud and the 3D models, but at the end it all comes to the flying efficiency and the size of the job. Uh, while drone survey might be okay for a certain point of interest in a very small region, uh, the large format cameras are required when the job is to map a city or a country or a continent. So each technology has its, uh, its, its existence and its, I would say, sweet spot for usage. Uh, drones are for the smaller spots and these large format cameras they are for the big jobs. The underlying technology and principles are the same. Thanks yeah. for explaining. I would like to thank you very much thank for the you. opportunity. It has been great talking to you. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye.